Close to university, have my director call. Yeah, sure, one moment, please. Sure. Can I have you spell your last name for me? Oh, why, hello there. How are you? Let's begin. Let's begin. Welcome to State University, how may I direct your call? Students actually get to see us and they get to like, interact with us on a daily basis, as well as faculty and staff. So whether it's in person or on the phone, we usually are the face of ITS. People look for us for help, you know, we can, we can provide information that not everybody knows. It's a work-study job, so we can do it on campus. How flexible they were with hours, I could go to class come here after um, and still be able to have time to do my homework. I've worked in other jobs where I go in, clock in, clock out, and all I want to do is get my paycheck. Here, I look forward to it. And I've come here and I've really just made a lot of friends, both within my major and without, and I think that that's awesome, just when you can work with people that you're going to be friends with outside of work. Um, it just makes it a more fun environment. So you can really come from any background and work well as an integrated group. There's all kinds of majors. I know history majors, criminal justice majors, and computer science and IT. It's, a, it's really a mix. It's not all IT majors. The help desk really couldn't function without its, its student employees. We do a lot of sort of basic training where, you know, you need to come to work on time, you need to dress professionally, you need to talk properly, you need to answer the phone, you need to have a professional and courteous manner, you need to put in your timesheet on time if you expect to get paid. All of those sorts of things that one would expect from a normal job. We take some time and effort in training people and making sure that they understand why these things are important and how they need to do these things and conduct themselves. The employees here are actually cross-trained in library circulation and actual like help desk, like call center type things. We're considered part of the, the Lamps and Learning Commons, which is sort of a, a, a technology help integrated system. You learn a lot by doing. A lot of it's hands-on. You learn how to connect someone to the internet by actually doing it, asking questions. It's, it's really hands-on. I learned a lot uh, that I learned here from uh, the training that they gave us at the beginning of the year, but also a lot from my coworkers. My mentor, Ryan Patton, taught me everything I needed to know. Yeah. Number one, you actually get to help your fellow peers and your faculty members, so that puts you in a good light. Um, the staff and the, the management are wonderful. We have people like Carrie here, fellow staff member. She's great to work with. I am technically considered a help desk trainee, but don't let the title fool you. I can really get stuff done. When we started training, everyone was together, so it really helped us be able to get a group's perspective of what needs to be done. And we'd spend all day long learning certain ways to assist customers with the info desk as well as ResTech and call center. It's not a hostile environment, you can just go up to someone and ask, hey, I don't know what this is, can I have some help please? And they're willing to help you. The older kids could help the younger kids on a much more informal level. You learn a lot just by getting hands-on uh, and asking a lot of questions of, uh, you know, your supervisors and other co-workers. Uh, they have a lot of a wealth of information to help you out with. I've never had anyone be anything but totally encouraging when I had a question. They leave with a confidence that allows them to try different things and figure out the solution to the problem or know where to go to find the solution to the problem, which is really kind of the key to working here. One of the biggest things that we had to learn was talking on the phone to people who are trying to describe their problems that might not know as much as we do. Technology in itself is really challenging and there's sometimes some things that you don't know how to fix or things that you can't fix. You're not gonna know everything when you first come into the help desk. You're gonna slowly learn day by day. Take your time, be patient with uh, patrons and make sure they understand and can learn from what you're teaching them. It's not a boring, mindless, like busy work job. You're actually doing important stuff. We were dealing with a foreign exchange student who had their own computer here and she needed help getting connected to the internet. The problem was the computer was in Korean. So it was a bit difficult for me to really navigate through the computer to find exactly how to do it. But uh, with the help of Google Translate and uh, her patience, we were able to get her connected successfully. And um, it, was a, it was a good feeling considering that that's something I've never been able to accomplish before. Getting to the root of that problem and then solving that problem, either over the phone or in person, um, takes a certain amount of patience and strong customer service skills that um, is definitely something that is learned while they're here. Most don't come in with that knowledge right off the bat. First time I was able to do like a relatively normal um, problem and solve it on my own, that made me really happy. Every day I come in and a professor or a student calls us and 
when I help them with their problem, I learn myself. One of the things that's very important to me personally is that um, there's more than just work here. There's fun at the help desk. We're not just a bunch of geeks and that we don't have any personality. We have a lot of fun and we do a lot of things together because I want this to be a place that students want to come to. I want this to be the place that they want to work. When we got here early, like a week early to our training, we filmed a music video to Call Me Maybe. That was sort of my brainchild and none of them were really all that interested in doing it, but I think once we all kind of got going, they really had a lot of fun laughing and giggling with each other and screwing up over dance steps and running up and down the stairs. And in the end, I think they all found it to be a real positive experience and we're hoping to do another one again this summer. And that was a really great icebreaker because I didn't really know a lot of people coming in and that, that kind of helped with the transition. We also have something called the Help Desk Olympics that we're trying to do every year almost as an annual tradition. Which has been a series of competitions. Um, some of them are a little bit more library or training related and then others have just been silly and fun sort of competitions. There's no helping other people, there's no answering phones, it's, it's your group, your team against the other team at the Help Desk and you just get to have fun and eat food. A relay race, that one was real scary. Um, a couple of guys kind of crashed their library cart as they were going around, but they had a lot of fun and I think they won that one. We feed them pizza and they come and hang out and all of them came chose to come and hang out with us on a Friday night. You develop relationships more than you think you would here, even from a supervisor to basic trainee level relationships are way better than you think they would be. It was uh, not expected. The staff and the management are wonderful. The most surprising thing that I found was how easy it was to actually get along with everyone and really um, gain a bond. Like we've all grown this great sense of community. You don't get that at a lot of jobs. Uh, you know, you really get to make some lifelong friends here at the Help Desk. I personally worked at the Help Desk since 1998. I was a student here and now it's 2012 and I still haven't left. Um, I love this place and I hope to be here for a long, long time and I want other people to love it just as much as I do. I also enjoy uh, the experience that I'm getting for the real world uh, so I can go out, start my own business and have a little bit of IT uh, experience under my belt. Probably one of the best jobs I've had. I just want to say that this is the best job that I've ever had. There's a whole lot that I think I'll be able to take away from this. I've been looking for internships this summer and a lot of the places I'm applying for like that I work at the help desk. It's my favorite job I've ever had. <laughs> Don't think anything's ever going to top it, ever, so I hope my other bosses don't see that. <laughs>